Well, I first met uh, Lucia de Mimico at the University of Ife, now the Obafemi Awolo University. It was actually, uh, we are both medical students in that university. I was a pioneer medical student and uh, it was actually two years my junior in medical school. But uh, we stuck a relationship that was very, as we could remain endearing. Because here was he, I was a, something like a recluse, almost with me all the time, but he was a socialite who found time as a medical student to, to delve into other activities, including political activities. And after the time I met him, I knew that he had a mission. He wasn't just a medical student. Besides, uh, at that time we had professors, uh, for example, Professor, Professor Ige, Professor Grillo, who taught us how not just to be medical students alone, but to be very interested in the affairs of the community, of the general public. And I think that people like uh, Governor Mimiko took that into deep passion to continue to work on that. Then when he graduated, I went to do postgraduate medicine and uh, became a consultant at the Abafema World University, a consultant gynecologist. Whereas he established a hospital, a private hospital in Undo City, from where he was always, uh, we were always interacting, he was always referring patients from the private clinics and I was at, you know, always, always bringing the patients personally from his private clinic to the University of if a teaching hospital, uh, medical school, and uh, I was always very intrigued by the fact that he would stay with the patient uh, throughout the operations, whatever I wanted to conduct on the patient, and then thereafter pay the fees of the patients and take the patient in his car back to his uh, town, which was about 40 kilometers away from Ife. And I found that very intriguing because many that doctors don't go that far. And that was the, the passion I saw in him, and he had a great vision, community orientation, which even though all doctors are taught to be community oriented, not many of us always take that to heart. But here was this guy taking all this into heart. So I've got to know him and respect him from when we were both 17 years of age, by the way, until now. Known him for several years.